I'm Michelle Zimmer with Wild Serendipity Foods and today we're going to do a wild rice salad with a wild blueberry vinaigrette. So wild all around in the kitchen today. So this is a nice colorful dish to add to your summertime meal or at room temperature, a great side dish any time of year. So the wild rice, I've gone ahead and pre-cooked because it does take a while, but if you've never seen raw wild rice, that's what it looks like there. So kind of like long sticks. It's not actually a rice, it's a grass that grows in the northern waters of Saskatchewan and we are the major producers of it for Canada. So it's kind of an interesting dish, a little bit nutty, a little bit chewy, so lots of texture there. So here's the cooked wild rice. And so it puffs up, puffs up a bit, it opens up to reveal a, a white interior. And it doesn't really cook like regular rice either, basically it just boils in water for about 40, 45 minutes. And then for the salad, we're gonna rinse it in cold water and allow it to drain. We don't want it to be too wet for the salad. And for a regular side dish, you would just leave it warm and just make sure it's well drained so it doesn't get gummy on the bottom. So that's the actual main part of the salad. And then the next, we're gonna add a bunch of fruit, texture, color contrast. So at this point, you could put whatever you want. So I've chosen to do uh, dried cran raisins that are sweetened, dried apricots, some snap peas, a little bit of parsley for some color, and some toasted pine nuts. So the cran raisins you're going to throw in as they are, and the apricots will give a little bit of a, a chop. So we kind of want everything to be about the same size in a salad like this. So the cran raisins are sort of be the benchmark, so for the apricots and the snap peas we'll cut them accordingly. So there's our apricots chopped up. So we'll just set those aside and go on to the snap peas here. So when you get them, you want to be sure you get ones that are quite firm. You know they're going to be nice and crunchy because that's going to give us that nice crunch in the salad. And so the same size again. Alright, so we'll go ahead and place these just back on the plate so we can toss them in quickly. So the pine nuts are ready to go and I just toasted them dry in a little frying pan. They burn quickly like any nut. They're not actually a nut, they are uh, basically the inside, the seed of a pine tree. There's only about 20 varieties that grow them big enough to eat them, but that is what they are, is a pine nut. And a little bit of fresh parsley too. Again, just for color. Of course, you can leave it out, but it's always nice to have it. I never used to really use it until I figured out that you can extend its life in the fridge by sort of snipping off the stems as you would cut flowers and keeping them in a tall glass or some kind of container with water in the fridge. And it'll last for two or three weeks like that if you just keep trimming the bottom. But it is always nice to add to add to dishes. All right, so we'll go ahead and place that. And now we're ready to prepare our vinaigrette. And I'm using a food processor. You don't have to use one if you don't have one. Um, the only thing that you would want to do is kind of chop up the, the blueberries. These are frozen northern blueberries, so I've just gone ahead and thawed them just so they're going to puree up in there. But you could sort of chop them and really finely chop them or take a fork and sort of mash them. Other than that, you could just put it all in a, in a container and whisk it up and it'll be just fine. So there's going to be one little clove of garlic that's going to go in here. And you could just toss everything in there, which is essentially what we're going to do with garlic sometimes. You never know if it's actually going to puree up or not. Sometimes little chunks stay and they just kind of keep whizzing around. So a little trick is if you're using it like this, we're just going to pop it in by itself. Give it a little whiz and it's going to mince that. There we go. So now it's minced. We know we're not going to get any, any chunks in there. And now we can just go ahead and add all our ingredients. So we've got, got the blueberries. So we've got about 
about a third of a cup of them. And get all the juice in there too. And it's a balsamic olive oil vinaigrette. So I've got about two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, any kind that you like, and a quarter cup of olive oil. There we go. And also a little bit of honey. And you can leave it out if you want. This is one of those salads. It's a little bit sweet, sweet and tart. It's got about two teaspoons here. some fresh cracked black pepper. And just however much you like there. And about three quarters-ish teaspoon of salt. And the last thing will be a little bit of a shallot. And if you didn't have a shallot, you could use just a little bit of finely chopped or grated onion. Onion itself, would be quite strong for this salad. So, so you'd want very little, or you could just leave it out altogether. It is nice with the garlic. And I am gonna throw it in there, so I'm not gonna worry about chopping it too finely, but just to make sure there's no chunks left behind. And this was a relatively large shallot, so we're not gonna worry about using it all. It would sort of overpower the other flavors. All right, so I'll just toss that right in. All right, so let's go ahead and puree that up. There we go. It's got a really nice color to it. And I'm just gonna taste it for salt and pepper, see if I think it needs any more. And I think it tastes just great. So we'll go ahead and mix up the salad. So we've got our wild rice as the base. All of our mixed fruits. And if you don't like apricots, use whatever you like in there. You could even put some fresh fruit in there, some chopped apples. Got our pine nuts there. And we'll just give that a little stir before we add our vinaigrette. And then pour this right over top. And there you go, so it's all ready to serve. This is one of those salads you kind of like to let it sit a little bit in the fridge just to let the flavors meld, the sort of the vinegar sort of mixes a little bit with everything else in there. Of course, you can eat it right away too. If you have a chance, just leave it in the fridge. Well, there you have it. We've got our wild rice salad with wild blueberry vinaigrette with dried fruits. And again, I'm Michelle Zimmer with Wild Serendipity Foods. You can find this recipe and others on my website at wildserendipity.com.